For most people in Temple, the local grocery store is just a short drive away. But for some people with disabilities, the trip is far different. Some residents say traveling the sidewalks is straight up dangerous. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore looked into that today and joins us with some answers. Hey, Andrew. Doug and Leslie, when a local woman told us about the problem she was having just driving her motorized wheelchair to the store, we decided to take that trip with her. And we found multiple places where she had to use a busy street because of the sidewalk conditions. Judy May has lived in Temple for the last seven years, and she's using She's used to driving the neighborhood streets or yards because they don't have sidewalks. But to get to the downtown HEB, she had to take some risks on busy roads too. After getting to 3rd Street, May had to go off road to avoid the street at West Irvin. After passing the fire department, she had to jump out in traffic because the sidewalk at that point basically disappears on West Adams Avenue. And on West Adams Avenue, she was in the street again next to the family dollar because the sidewalk was slanted. May says other areas of the city are no better. Basically, there's either no sidewalk or it's so messed up that you have to just walk in the street. Sometimes there'll be three or four people riding scooters on the same street and there's cars coming and it's dangerous. Now, the city of Temple would not go on camera for the issue today, but they did tell us by email that there is no money set aside in the next year's budget to pay for sidewalk repairs. And the city said it waits for issues with the sidewalks to be brought up before they take any action. See the rest of my journey with May coming up at 10 o'clock. Doug Leslie. All right, Andrew, thank you very much.